and leave you with some juice welcome, welcome back, back baby loves welcome back if you are new to our channel please not forget to like comment share and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification that way you're updated when we update you and if you are returning welcome back baby loves we love you i'm Deshaun. talk today and i'm Savion, miss kitty and we back in this thing yeah. with another one y'all know it's what hashtag kitabo what we got miss kitty Today, baby loves, we went back. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. We went back mm -hmm. to McGee. Ooh, look at that face over there. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> We went back mm -hmm. out to McGee's Barbecue for Wing Wednesday. Dollar ninety nine wings, baby, and we got six a piece. We did that. We Smoke did wings. That. I didn't even realize that price point was that mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you, you know this white meat. You know okay. white white meat, huh? Well, you put me on. This is my favorite piece of meat. You already know. Yes, shit. Yes, it is. Mm. Y'all know this. So, I guess. So, you know, so don't Girl. get cold. Yes. So, we're going to get on into this for you. So, we can get into this bite and wait she all over there being cute and stuff. It got to be my turn, huh? You know, I'm going to pray today because I got you. I, I hit you with the Ovi dog last week. So, baby loves. Bye. <laughs> God, I ask you to bless the hands that prepared this meal for us, God, and continue to bless our baby loves and continue to watch over us and keep us safe. And that I ask that you continue to keep us humble in the midst of everything that is going on, God, mm -hmm. because I know you're going to bless us. And that mm -hmm. when you when you get ready to bless us, God, and the abundance that right now you're preparing us for where we can handle it. And I thank mm -hmm. you and I ask that you continue to bless the baby loves in your name. Amen. Man. Amen. I had to get for real, real for a minute in that prayer because like God gonna do it, y'all. Yeah, it's just he definitely he been. Is. He definitely been. Dude, this is the preparation right he here. Really have. Yeah. Like when I tell you with this little time being in pandemic, it started all crazy. Mm -hmm. But it ain't been nothing but blessing. But a blessing. Yeah. Time mm -hmm. of growth. It really has been. Okay, so Look, I bet y'all like, girl, get to this food. Yeah, I got them big old holes. Smoke wings. I don't know. I smell that smoky smoke. I don't know why I do that, y'all, but I literally do break them down, down, all the way down. Baby loves, we keep it real. I feel like I always say in our video, we keep it real over here. I don't feel today. I don't like saying pink in my meat. I don't either. I'm like we are, we are very well done girls, and people would probably call our meat Burn. overcooked. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. When I see any kind of pink in the meat, baby, it gives me pause. Yeah. But it tastes good. Yeah. So it's like, so you know it's done, but why is it pinkish? Yeah, it's kind of pink. Mm. Hmm. I was flavorful. Mm -hmm. Yep. And when they do it, have a little pink. That one's still a little juicy to cook it to where it don't cook down all the way. Or just to make it juicy still, right? That's how y'all do steaks. Uh, well, for me, a steak is different. Because a steak do, like, it It keeps it juicy. It keeps it tender. But chicken's supposed to be cooked, you know. In my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I don't want to see no pink in my chicken. Yeah. Baby, zero. But you know what? A lot of black people like they. I don't know. I don't like burn mom. <laughs> Both of us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Ooh, that's a good little spot right there. Mmm, that's damn good. Baby, look, I keep forgetting about the let's eat part. I think I'm so ready to eat today. But, hmm, let's eat. <laughs> <I'm not>. We <laughs> eating. <laughs> For real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's, it's, he got a banging flavor. Like, his mm -hmm. flavor profile, y'all, at McGee's is, is good. Yeah. Y'all know, uh, when we do food reviews, we have to tell the truth and all the truth and nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. But y'all already know we fans, so. Y'all know what that was. She's drinking water. I got some flavor for you to do. I think I messed around and mixed too much of that with vodka to where now I'm like over the taste. Oh, okay. Because I was trying to think of something to mix it with. <laughs> but Somebody told us to mix that with uh, mm -hmm. it, it tastes good. It, 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 after a while, I don't know if it's the carbonation water or whatever. It kind of get your heart burn. Do it? Oh, I don't right. know. Maybe that's just me. Mm -hmm. I bet you will be like, girl, stop picking over this chicken. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, it is hard when you see. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm mm -hmm. Today I want some bread. Today I want some bread, baby. Yeah, bread would have um, mac and cheese. Mmm. That's some bangs. What does that mean? In it? With that meat in it. With it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That meat in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we know on Fridays McGee's have the ribs. Mm -hmm. We know on Wednesdays they have the wings. Mm -hmm. So, do you know anything? Tuesday they have uh, tacos. Oh. So, we know Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. Oh, Thursday, turkey leg. Oh. So, Tuesday, taco, brisket tacos, Wednesday, wings. Thursday, turkey leg Thursday, Friday, baby back ribs and baby. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, baby back grill. Mm. I almost was there this past Friday. You, I almost hit you it was, up. It was worth it. You had some left you had some left of a couple days. Mm, a couple <laughs> days. Uh uh mine only lasted me that day and the next day. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. But I eat ribs. I am. That was all I was eating. I had that for breakfast the next morning. And yeah, I finished up for breakfast. I was, you know, I was just like, it seemed like a lot. Like it was, and everybody was like, yeah, just pay twenty dollars for this slab. I was like that. That hey, McGee's on Friday. That's mm -hmm. a holy. That's that a, a good holy. One. And it's so mm, sliding. Yeah, because <laughs> they so good. Yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. And really, I think these have the same flavor as the mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I know. Them ribs was good. Mm. The skin on this is perfect. Mm -hmm. and, um, that barbecue is I just feel like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jira, I need you to leave mine in the smoke a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, yeah, just because her uh, pinkness? Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, there's it, uh, the flavor is good. Like, if I mentally didn't see the pink, I wouldn't be tripping. Mm -mm. Yeah, and I think it's because, you know, mm -hmm. our eyes. Mm hmm. I'm just trying to cover it up with a little barbecue sauce. Baby, love, did we ask y'all how y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. Did we ask y'all? <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you right now. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? How is your Wednesday going? Mm -hmm. And can y'all believe? Because when this video comes out, it'll be a year. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, somebody oh. liked that, though. <laughs> <laughs> We've been mm -hmm. hanging out with y'all for a whole year. Wow. I don't know. That, like, just really think about it. It's a lot. 
been consistent. Mm -hmm. I um, think it was one day I was that see. we didn't post. It was first time in, in, in the mm -hmm. whole yeah. year. One time we didn't post. One time we posted late. And then when we don't, we give y'all a lot. But other than that, as far as like just situations occurring, it's like, where you been going on? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we been eating good for a year, y'all. Mm. <laughs> Hell, I know y'all can tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> But she ain't kind of made me feel good today, though. Trying on clothes. Now, here's the keto temper help out. The keto-tober help out. Wait a minute. What did you just call it, y'all? Keep temper? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to let you make it this. I, it what? didn't come off right. So, that's why I guess when I said keto-tober again, that sound better. I said keto-tober. You said keto-tober? I was like, who is keto-tober? <laughs> Well, a keto <laughs> might have got some weight off us because okay. we, we, we uh, didn't do sure. I know for sure because, like, one of my love hand, my my love hand over here, y'all, like, it is it, done, uh, it went on down. You know my love hand over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the face, you know, the one, which one? Because I wasn't looking, so was your left one? Oh, right. Right. <laughs> I ain't never heard you know, they say BBWs, these dog rolls got in the back, then my butterfly. Yeah, that's like, what I'm so saying. Butterfly. Well, I got a big ass butterfly on my, on my oh, back. Oh, yeah, so she's so. literally a butterfly, you know. They say we butterflies. Yeah, butterflies and toxic. You know, they say any woman that got butterflies or got roses tattooed on them are toxic. And I just mm. think that that was just the beginning. You, you get what I'm saying? Especially if you got a tattoo when you were young. It was like, that was the that dainty, was the thing, pretty yeah. thing to get. So, me and y'all be ready to call us toxic for any reason. Hmm, y'all extra toxic, no PCP have around. I'm sorry. PCP? PCP? But you know where the PCP. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think what? PCP is a drug. No, baby. PCP is your, your personal care provider. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I did not know. Oh, my, oh my gosh. She was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Because I was talking about that on my Snapchat. Me and that having a PCP. Yeah, they always got something to say. Boy, they you ain't really even don't. got a doctor. When hey. the last time you been checked? And you ain't lying. And a lot of men, it's so crazy that this conversation is going this way. A lot, a lot of men know that they self and keep uh, safe and keep they self checked because of their girls. Because we are, you know what I'm saying? So that's how half y'all men know y'all say. Because your woman going to Because your woman go when she posts. Getting a little good girl checked. And she going to be telling you she got a clean bill of health. And she happy because she think you do too. And you over here like, oh. Made it through this month. Woo! Gotta you be sure one. Yeah, yeah. Gotta be faster than that. You think you're gonna get me locked down or something? So, yeah, that's how they did say. Mm-hmm. Test show, we good. Your red ass better not have been on. <laughs> and it's so funny, we playing, but that is the God honest truth. That's how it go. That is. Because we being funny, but I've actually had I, the one I was just telling you about. When I I would tell him after I come from doctor, he was like, oh, no, we, we good. good. <laughs> I remember I used to hear, hear men say, shoot, my girl, she just, you know, she, my girl, she just came back, she good. And especially don't let them be pregnant. Boy, they really think they got a whole free visit to the doctor the whole nine months. Like and ain't nobody going to the doctor but the baby but and the mama. Baby and mama. <laughs> but can you imagine having to tell your partner that they got to take something because you got something? And this is the only way we can stop this shit because if I don't tell you. Oh, and what's up? Have you ever you had to? Yeah, I done been in this situation before. Where well, you had where? I done been in this situation to where I done had to. Tell somebody, like, I think you need to go get checked because I'm not right. I feel like my stuff ain't right. And I don't know if you done threw my pH off because you ain't probably, I don't know, did you wash your bottles good today or did you clean up the, you because if you think about it, a lot of times us women, we don't want, we go and shop. It's like something with us, we go shop. We want to make sure we fresh, this and that. It's like we conscious about everything. We are. But men will come. With all and dirt and all filled oh, under that. You want to slap it in right in your face. I want to go to get into your hot box with your face. 
thing, cause you don't think that I'm gonna get so, like a ye cause I'm not even talking about from STDs, cause people think too. Me, what you you in that situation? No, women get vaginal infections, bacteria, and that can be caused for us from the man. I mean, y'all gotta do better. But I was just saying, it is fun. And you, communication is the key. That's what I was saying. Had you ever had to talk to someone? Because I did. I had to go to my ex. And I was just like, babe, you got to get checked. <laughs> we got to check. I don't know if it is Try. the soap. Because some women are just very mm -hmm. sensitive. Yes, it so it could be something from dish to laundry detergent being, you know. You know what? As we have this conversation, feeling like we aunties to some baby loves out there. Women really do got to talk and not be ashamed of their bodies, of their of their bodies their, in their community. We are like, scared of discharge. We are. And, and that is healthy. It is. It, is, it tells, it you, tells you what side. your body, what stage is it's in. It does. Oh, I'm so glad we're having this conversation because to this day, it's still hard to have this conversation with some women. Some women are so out of touch and don't want to talk about the things we go through as a woman. Yeah. You're a woman. Supposed to have a bodily discharge. You are. Like, it is perfectly normal, y'all. If you don't, I'm scared. And it's trying to hide your cycles because you just don't want to deal with it. You just want a hot girl summer every day of the week for 365 days. That ain't the safest either. Mm -mm, because Depo is killing black women. I said, I've never been on. I have been like, and I got on Depo for a man. I got on Depo because, you know, you, you we live in our yeah. best life. Ain't, you know, ain't no condom in sight. So, yeah. you know, I'm like, I know I don't want a baby. So I go get on Depo. Well, at least you knew you didn't want a baby. And you just didn't chance it. Yeah, I, I got it. on Depo. But I, I hate it now because now I was only on Depo, y'all, for two years. And I immediately got off of it after I was done with that situation. And... I was always an easy girl in that department. What Eve blessed us with, with her trifling self. Mm. I wasn't sure if it was just your skin going oh. on. <laughs> I was always easy, but after that depo shot, like it's it's like uh, the exorcism is going on. Really, yes, like it messed like, up your hormones? Not my hormones. Like I didn't. I had an easy time during that time mm -hmm. of the month, but like. Now, like, woo, it's, I, I see what other women talk yeah. about when they say they have the pain when they doubled over and, like, you really don't want to do nothing. Because mm -hmm. I was telling my mama, like, I really don't want to talk to nobody. I really don't want to see nobody. Like, I just sleep. I Like, that's yep. for the first three days. And that, normally that's it. But I just, I'm that's it. And I was not like that. And that's a result after I got off the depot. Like, that's what it did. Mm. But some people, like, I've heard people getting limbs removed, being uh, infertile. Now, like, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. all yeah. kinds of things, y'all. And when they talk about it, too, they say they think about it, our age group. Like, mm -hmm. around our age group, we was kind of, like, the first guinea pigs for all these different type of birth control. Because if you think about it, like, when our parents was coming up, it was probably one or two type of birth control. When we started... Come now with you. You don't want to have mm. a cycle for five years. Then you want to have a baby. Oh, we'll take this. So, so like we were the guinea pigs, and that's why a lot of our generation, like, what's it called? Don't have to start. Yeah. And, and it's crazy because I don't want to put that on me or put that on my friends and them. But it's a prime example. I'm 37, no children. Yeah, and people think this is so crazy when they meet you. And I'm like, oh, girl, no kids. Oh, well, shoot, you got some free. I have had the same high school best best friends all my life. It's five of us. All five of us do not have children. Only one friend out of the batch got a uh, child. My friend Nita. Mm -hmm. and, but that shows, like y'all, yeah, birth control is it's making us infertile. Yeah, like we and they're a trial pushing it. They're pushing it more to us to 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 take it, and it's not good for your body for you mm -hmm. not to do what you're. Your normal bodily processes are supposed to happen. I don't care what anybody says. You're not supposed to stop them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're not. I, no. I, I totally agree. You're not. Mm -hmm. supposed you're not to supposed to stop, to stop it. We got to cut this out. Yeah. That 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 alone scared me when I started like thinking because I never did uh, birth control, but I never forget when I was going off to college. My mama was like, "They shine. Hey, we ready? We need to have that talk or whatever. You know, just don't what you had them. So I'm just thinking I'm moving out. Yeah. Going to college. I'm like, okay, mom. I guess I get on birth control. Yeah. Girl, I get on birth control, I realize I'm still not having sex. 
you know, I didn't even have a virginity broke until I was 21. So it was like, fool, why are you 18, well, 19? Because I just thought I'm going to, you don't know, I might start X and shoe. But two months into take a I told my mom, I was like, mama, I just don't see myself having sex. So let me just get off of them. And I got back on again. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I would ever get on birth control. Mm -mm. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> it would have to be a bigger conversation between me and my partner. Like, we need to look at different avenues. Like, are we okay if a oopsie comes up? Or are you going to yeah. get juice snipped? Um, yeah. Because uh, birth control. Because it's, it's too much. Like, birth control can even kill us. Like, blood yeah. clots and everything. So, it's just like, No. And I just truly don't think that you'll get blessed with somebody that you would have to make that decision with. Because I do feel like at a certain age, our age, dating, this and that, it's like, if you don't want kids, that's a conversation you kind of happen at the, hey, I'm Miss Kitty. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens that quick. So it, we it got to nip this bug. Yeah. Yeah, got to nip the bug. Trying to pop out too. How are you? I think that's how we should go down. Yeah. Then that way, it's like, well, you know what? You seem cool and I, I want nothing but that for you. I just know I can't give it to you. So you know what? It was like, you know what? Well, I see you around then. We might become the biggest friends. Still got a friend. Still got day. a friend. Still. I, when I wanted five kids, y'all, he was like, and y'all, I have I met. I want the, you, but I can't. And I have met the friends. So I got, and it's so crazy because I think, not I think, prime example, that relationship she's talking about, honesty is the key. Communication is the key because not only have they both moved on with their mm -hmm. lives, it's like they all get along. I just think that's awesome because he, he, yeah, he, he cool. even said that in front of in front, in front, of, front of his wife. wife. He was like, "You remember when you wanted five kids?" And I was like, "Oh, I can't give you that," but. Because I literally, I was like, I want five. And I did, y'all. I always wanted a big family because, you know, I'm the only child. And when I told him that sitting in Sausaritas, y'all, in that booth, that baby looked at me. I I can't do that for you. He straight up, I can't do that for you. He's like, that's a whole basketball team for me. I'm so glad he told the truth. Because no. some of these... Right. That, that's all he wanted you to know. He wanted you yeah. to just grow up a little bit and say... But some of these men would have been like, girl, okay, I'll give you them five, knock you over with that one, and you ain't seen them in five years. See? See? <laughs> See? That's, the, that's the devil. Ooh, God, you work in mysterious ways. Hey, Amen. Girl, you bless my soul. What the hell? No, dead ass. Ass. dead ass. Dead ass. Y'all, we just did okay, chit today. We saw But I enjoyed that conversation because I it do was. feel like kids need to, you know, you know, need to talk. And we might better. talk about more. Com we can talk about women. We women. Yeah, we are definitely women. I don't think we said, like, anything nasty mm -hmm. while we eat food. So. Mm -hmm. And yeah, speaking of this food, other than that, like, y'all know McGee's, we love y'all. Love you, love you, love you. Love you, love you, love you. My week, just in a smoke for just a little bit longer. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, just, just, a, that's just a personal preference. Yeah, yeah, because at the end of the day, the smoke flavor was there. That's definitely not going to turn me. Because mm -mm. now we got to do what? The, the, the tacos? I want to oh, try everything leg. on the list. I okay, think we okay. need to do the turkey leg. That's what I'm over here. But I was going to say, I can only eat the turkey leg if it... That's how my cousin, cousin OG stuff. So Twinkie husband. That's why I want us to go and try their barbecue. But... Oh, yeah. ASAP. We're going to be in Dallas. So... Okay. But anyway, as I said, y'all, the flavor profile mm -hmm. is, is there. outstanding. It's, it's way good. Every person likes their meat different. I prefer my meat well done. Any meat you get me, well well done. Besides the steak, I need to make it that thing. I need it almost black as pie. Let's get out of here. If y'all enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you're updated when we update you. And so, sis, on that note, are we out? Sis, I think we out. Peace. Peace.